and welcome back to my channel. I'm really really happy to see you here and today as you can see from the title I am going to be testing the new viral method called 333 method which is basically a capsule wardrobe and it is very simple to understand. All you need is three tops, three bottoms and three pairs of shoes and supposedly you are able to create an infinite amount of outfits with these pieces but I made a little twist to it because one of my resolutions for the spring and summer is to wear more colors so this 333 method will be very colorful as you can already kind of see in the background. Before we go on I would really appreciate if you would comment down below on your favorite outfit and don't forget to subscribe because every subscription counts and I am on my way to get my first thousand subscribers. It's a tough road so uh, I would really appreciate your uh, support if you like any of my videos. But now without further ado let's go and get started because I personally am very very curious about this. So before we start to put to the outfits together let me actually show you the pieces that I have picked out for today. Let's start with the tops. First I took this orange cardigan which I think is perfect spring piece and I absolutely love this orange color. It is such a beautiful pastel color and I wear this a lot. Uh, so I'm curious to maybe try some new color combos that I haven't had before. Then the next piece, okay it's not colorful but it is a white button down and I still feel like this is very spring. Uh, and it fits with the color palette and uh, yeah you can never go wrong with a basic white button down and I think this will really help me put the some outfits together. Then the third top I have is this Tommy Hilfiger sweater and uh, where I am from in, or where I live currently in Germany the spring is still very up and down and of course it has gotten warmer but we still need to wear sweaters but I love this one because it has some colors and it still feels very springy and colorful and I think this will be a really cool piece to combine with a lot of my bottoms. So let's move on to the bottoms. I purposefully didn't take any jeans because I feel like that's just way too easy so I picked instead these three. First I have this red skirt that is very like skater girl type and I have to admit that I don't wear this so often so I'm curious to see maybe I can find some cool color combinations that will make me wear this skirt more because I do like the style and I think it could re look really cute for spring. Then we have this blue maxi skirt which is in this beautiful color and I've had this skirt for I think almost 10 years now or at least like eight or nine years and uh, I have been wearing this so often spring summer winter and this is definitely a staple in my wardrobe and it always comes back in with this pleated style and I think right now it is really in so I am curious again to or I'm really looking forward to style this one with some of my tops and last but not least how was it hang? I also have these light blue pleated, uh, light blue pants and uh, yeah this is also a staple especially in my work wardrobe. I wear these a lot, they are very comfortable, they are very flowy and uh, yeah I can be with them every time and it fits to every occasion. So um, yeah I think this will be good. Um, as I said these outfits are very colorful and uh, I usually if I go for colors I go all monochromatic and I'm still not the best in combining different colors so this is definitely a step out of my comfort zone uh, but I think it will be interesting to try it out it may be a flop it may be not uh, but that's why this video is here and the three shoes that I have chosen are these Gola classic sneakers that I wear pretty much everywhere and they have this beautiful like flower print on them but I absolutely love these ones and even though they are not so neutral in my wardrobe they are neutral and they fit with a lot of outfits so I'm really loving those. Second pair of pants that I have are these boot heels and uh, they are in this brown color so pretty neutral and I think they will fit with literally everything and elevate a little bit the style. And the third pair of shoes are these mules 
and I am very hesitant about them. I haven't worn them a lot as well and I'm not really sure if they are just ugly or if they are fashion forward. Um, so they might break a lot of my outfits but again this is a test for me and you're just witnessing it. So now let's go and start putting the outfits together because I cannot wait and uh, we'll put a counter somewhere up here in the corner uh, to see how many outfits I can come up with. Let's get going. Okay, so for the first outfit I decided that I will be styling this skirt and I took this skirt with this sweater and uh, paired it on top so you can almost not see the skirt and it is definitely a bit short but I still feel that it's quite cute and I paired it with these boots and uh, honestly I mean right now I'm not wearing any tights uh, but I would add some and if you accessorize it I think that this is a really cute outfit and it works quite well and uh, I think it would work for spring it's definitely not work appropriate but uh, not everything has to be and this could be very cute with uh, also other pairs of Sue sneakers to kind of style it down but I think outfit one is a success so let's move on so this is my outfit number two and I feel like a to complete schoolgirl and uh, I'm not so one not so sure if I would actually wear this because it's just I just feel like Britney Spears and uh, but on its own actually the outfit is really cute uh, it does fit obviously if schoolgirls can wear it then I can wear it as well and just to make it a bit more casual I paired it with these colorful sneakers and maybe if I would put like a blazer or an extra piece of jacket it would not be so, so school girlish so I'm a bit hesitant about this but it is definitely an outfit and technically it does work together so let's not count that away. I'm not sure if we can count this as a completely separate outfit but I thought to try this out and I look even more preppy school girlish and somehow although the colors don't match they somehow match or maybe I'm just crazy because I can't really see that well from the camera's viewfinder but let's count this as number three and uh, yeah I guess it's not too bad but I would not wear it personally in real life this is my outfit number four and I honestly thought it would be a flop because I didn't know how orange and red looks together but now that I have it on I think this combination is really really cute I just have the sports bra underneath so ignore the black but I think this is not so bad and I'm still keeping the sneakers to make it a bit more playful and fun and yeah, I quite like it. If there is like a black bag or something to neutralize it a little bit or a trench coat, I think this is good. So outfit number four is also a success. Okay, and this is the outfit number five. Not a lot has changed, but I put this uh, white button down underneath the cardigan. And I still think that this looks cute. It's a little bit more preppy now, but definitely very wearable. And I still have to say that the baby orange and red looks good together. I never thought this, so this is definitely a combo that I just discovered. I feel like I've exhausted all of the options with this skirt, so let's change the bottom and see how many I can do with this blue skirt now. So my outfit number six, I absolutely love it. I'm still keeping on the sneakers and I think this is such a perfect office outfit that you can dress up or down depending with the shoes we can also put these heeled ones on and then it's a bit more formal but I like to keep it playful and comfortable with the sneakers outfit number seven absolutely gorgeous and again I have never paired this like orange with this blue I didn't think that it really works but now that I have it on I think it works absolutely beautiful and I have them with on with these brown boots Damn it, now I have to wear all these outfit combos. I don't need all my other clothes that are in the closet. So yeah, I think this is definitely a success. Let's try it on with the other sweater. Outfit number nine. Uh, this is if we keep it long. I'm not so sure about it, but we can definitely crop it using a belt. And I think cropped this works again really well. I'm still keeping on the same boots to make it a bit more feminine. But since the sweater already has the blue elements, I think it fits absolutely gorgeously with this blue skirt and this is again a very legitimate outfit that I would wear so this is again another success 
perfectly combined let's move on to the bottoms number three here is the outfit number nine and I'm absolutely loving it again I have to crop it a little bit to make it more flattering and this is a different shade of blue but I still think that it works with the dark blue here I put on the sneakers it looks casual I can imagine wearing this to work to brunch to meet friends to go shopping run errands very comfortable very cozy warm and uh, stylish of course so did I say nine it's really hard to keep up I guess you will see the counter so let's change the top. Outfit number 10, I am absolutely loving. And again, blue and orange is like not a combo that I thought would look good, but since both of these are such like pretty pastel color, I think it works so well. Still keeping the sneakers, I know I'm wearing them with every outfit, I am just a sneaker girl, but I think this is absolutely perfect and another outfit that I will definitely be wearing in the near future. Colorful, comfortable, cute. All right, outfit number 11. We all knew that this will work because a white dot button down just works with everything. And this is very work appropriate. I feel like you look professional. You can change the shoes and uh, you know make it a bit more elevated depending on what bags you choose. But I am absolutely loving this. And this I have actually worn already a few times to the office and I felt very comfortable with it. Let's do another one. Outfit number 12. I'm not really the person who wears sweaters like this often because I find it's not so practical. But for the fashion purposes as an experiment, let's put it on. And this is cool because it gives a different kind of pop of color. Of course, you can also put the cardigan on then once you are cold. But yeah, this makes me feel a bit like old money fancy person. But uh, absolutely amazing. I'm loving this challenge a lot. So I think I will stop here because I just tried the most basic color combinations and of course we can do a lot more layering, we can combine it, but I think you saw just from these 12 outfits that this challenge definitely works. And if you're going on a trip where you only want to take a few pieces, I think this is such a good thing to have in mind. I am definitely not a minimalist and not a capsule wardrobe person. I have never been. I love clothes and my wardrobe is definitely filled with them. But this has definitely opened my eyes to different color combinations and different like combos that I just didn't think about. And uh, yeah, if I'm now gonna go to a weekend trip or like even a week trip, I think I can reduce the amount of clothes I take because we clearly saw that it works and uh, it's perfect. Like I said, we are not gonna be trying any more outfits today. Thank you so, so much for watching until the end. Again, let me know down below in the comments which one do you think is your favorite outfit? What kind of pieces should I try it again next with? We can do this challenge again with different combinations because I think that would be fun and again, it definitely brought me out of my comfort zone. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again next week.